Fellas, ladies, this one is a major, major go. Now, with the new update, we have a new game mode, but we also have some new interesting artifacts for us to collect and to upgrade that are going to help us, uh, how the developers are saying, in any aspect of the game, but also, but more so in the solo raids department. Now, in this video, we are going to debate what is the best artifact from this list uh, and what are actually the most useful ones because it's a big selection actually there are a couple of artifacts and you are not going to have the fragments to upgrade all of them so you gotta save for the best one that you can possibly get to upgrade and the one that is going to give you the most value in every aspect of the game not not only solo raids because they have normal bonuses that can be applied in any aspect of the game, but they have specific bonuses for uh, solo raids. Uh, the most OP bonuses are, of course, for solo raids. You cannot uh, use them in any other game mode. Now, let's we'll start with the number one artifact that is uh, actually one of the most common ones uh, out of this list, uh, according to the artifact chest. The Mega Rod, plus 155% special attack damage for 5 seconds after successfully successfully <laughs> blocking an opponent's special ability. This one is good, but is nothing groundbreaking compared to the normal old blades or claws. Because it is a window for 5 seconds after you just got hit by a special and you block that special. And in that amount of time, you don't have the time to build a... 40 hits combo to to take advantage of more damage so it's great but you are limited to a lower combo and to let yourself being hit um to let the boss or the opponent hit you and you block it it's a 50 50 it doesn't work always but it has 100% chance to ignore power steal or power drain. So you are basically immune to power drain, but only at level 10, I believe at lower level, you are almost immune. If power steal or power drain are ignored, transfer 80% of the power reserve, reserves for your team and drain opponent for the same amount of power. This one is very, very OP in arena and champions arena, but... Who cares now about arenas anymore? Um, how this works, if the opponent tries to power drain you, you basically are immune to power drain and the opponent basically power drains himself and it gives you that uh, power that he power drains on, on himself. So it's good, it's good, it's for arena, it's great. Uh, for the Dawn of Apocalypse, you get 12,000 attack and 40,000 health. It's great. Nothing to write home about it. It's great. But this one suggests all of the artifact specific uh, bonuses for the Dawn of Apocalypse suggest that we are going to fight bosses with about 500 million health or 1 billion health. Because the attack that the artifacts are giving is just nuts. If we were to have uh, bosses uh, in the future raids that are going to be like 20 30 million health with this buff of attack and health you are going to destroy anything that stand in, stands in, a, in your way and you are going to finish solar raids too quickly so my guess the new raids are going to be just absolutely insane and you are not going to be able to do them without the new artifacts now we start with number two the radiant now as a, as a side note, Mega Rod is great, but only if you get him and you do not get something greater. Because uh, it's great for other aspects, but for solo raids, there are far better alternatives uh, in this list that we have right now. So you can use uh, this one anywhere, but from what is worth, it seems like the weakest out of the bunch. Now, Radian. If an opponent is protected by a shield or barrier, your range attack has a 100% chance to be unblockable and destroy it. Destroy it, I'm not quite sure how this works, maybe it disables it for the duration of the match. Because uh, we saw uh, up until now that some bosses actually have 
the shield that they that the normal characters have in the game it one roman has the shield superman has the shield i'm sure grad is going to have the shield so this one i'm not quite sure when you see that you are fighting an opponent that has a shield you try to do a successful um a successful range attack and you destroy it for the entire duration of the match or it is actually just disables it for that specific moment when it when it hits yeah and your range attack deal plus 200 percent damage but you don't actually need uh, to put this mechanic because the range attacks are actually the weakest mechanic in the whole game i'm not quite sure th that there is a player in this game that actually utilizes range attacks in raids in normal raids or solo raids that is the weakest mechanic because the boss or the opponent can easily jump over your range attacks or go under your range attack so to actually hit a successful range attack it's a chance one in a million um that's why silver dead shot a uh, uh, not silver dead shot uh, marksman dead shot refactor is actually trash because he is based on range attacks and range attack basically doesn't connect uh never uh successfully swipe attacks remove 75 percent of the opponent's active defense for five seconds so this works like the batman ninja gorilla grad where your fifth hit uh, actually decreases the defense of the opponent for a specific duration but this one is your swipe attacks um that it basically mitigates all the defense so this artifact suggests that in the future we are going to have uh to fight bosses that have 75 percent defense so make sure you get your classic superman uh out, out there or put armor pierce on your damage dealers uh, now, Dawn of Apocalypse, 20,000 attack, 20,000 and 64,000 health. This is a big jump. So, this one is already better than Mega Rod. You have more value out of it um, for solo raids. But for the normal raids, I'm not quite sure. The duration of the successfully removing the defense is too low, 5 seconds, I'm not quite sure. Let's move on, because this one is debatable. So, this one depends on the first one. If it destroys the shield for the entire duration of the match, then it's OP. But if it doesn't, then it's mediocre, at best. Now, we are starting to go into the most OP artifacts. The Electro Axe. 100% chance to steal opponent's combo meter on successful swipe attacks. This one, I don't know what to say, because when you are doing your basic attacks, you are basically um, breaking the opponent's uh, combo and then he loses all the combo meter. So how you are going to steal the combo meter if you break the their defense and you are actually going to do their combo meter to zero i'm not quite sure until until someone tests this out this one seems like an idea but more so than practicality i don't know plus 250 percent damage against minions and summons so this basically means dark side 100% can summon minions in the fight so you gotta power drain that guy like crazy if you don't want to fight the minions plus a uh, 4.5 power bars gained from uh, opponent Kwa. this one seems like if you are defeating uh, dark side minions you are basically getting powered um, but it doesn't stack with similar effects uh, plus 30% health gained from opponents and so you are basically healing and getting power if you are killing the batman uh, the dark side minions the health and attack is the same as the radian nothing to write home about i don't know this one seems interesting on paper but for me it's more leaning towards only the dark side fight i don't see this uh, this one being useful in other any game mode in normal raids or in campaign i i i honestly doubt it 
Now, the entropy egg is ages, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, has two sections specifically for Dawn of Apocalypse only. So this one, I believe it's the killer out of the bunch for the solar raids. Each instance of incoming damage cannot deal more than 8.7% of your max health. So you are basically immune to high damage output on the basics and the specials and the super moves. They cannot do more than 8.7% 8 of your uh, max health, which is great. This is defensive. This is for survivability. And I have a feeling we are definitely going to need this one. Dawn of Apocalypse only. Damage cap is effective against boss dark side super moves. So boss dark side, if you didn't know by now, he can one shot any character no matter how much health you have. Uh, basically like a phase four in normal race that we have right now, but uh, only one character he can one shot. He cannot one shot others. Um, Minus 95% hazard and hazard dot incoming damage. Uh, my guessing is with this artifact they fuck up the dot resistance and the, the actual dot in the game uh, because they were messing with dot. Well, this acts like... Um, and it says there minus 100% hazard secondary effects so you are basically immune to power drain, to power steal, to dot damage and whatever. So my guessing in the future raids we are going to have uh, some sort of fight like it is with phase 3 where we have hazard on the ground and this is the counter to that um, This is like a John Stewart Green Lantern, but I would say if you have John Stewart Green Lantern, this one is not that mandatory uh, For the Dawn of Apocalypse 32,000 and 100 K health We are getting into the into the new era of Injustice 2 Mobile. This attack is nuts you are going to do like 10 million, 15 million on one special tree. This is absolutely insane. But just because the new bosses are going to be insane. So, like I said, if you have Jones Stewart Green Lantern, this artifact is not that needed. And I have a feeling you can find a counter to that super move, that one shot characters. You can actually tag in your uh, weakest support and then leave alive your combo builder and your damage dealer and you are going to be just fine not needing this artifact of course you need all of them if you uh, are lucky enough to drop them that's great congratulations but i would say to level up you need to save your fragments for the best ones heart of darkness one of the rarest out of the bunch plus 150 percent power generation for five seconds when hit by a critical attack but this is if you really get hit not if you block it so uh i'm not quite sure about this one i would say it's not that great because you basically need to let yourself being hit to get that power generation and you sure as hell don't want to get hit of course uh, especially by a critical attack and here it gives plus 100 percent health so this is health city all the way i would say this one is uh better to put on a combo builder because it is held for days and power generation when you get hit so if you manage to get hit with your combo builder there's there that's no big deal um and still 100 of opponent's healing effects if the opponent is healing i'm guessing we are going to have bosses that they actually heal maybe aquaman or something and when he's going to try and heal you are going to get healed i'm guessing i'm not sure because we didn't come to that um, until now. Uh, the same attack and health like the Entropy. And yeah, this is great. But I would say for your combo builder, not for your main damage. Now, the Father Box is the most exciting. And the one that is free. If you defeat the Dark Side Normal difficulty. This one, I would say, is the best one. And you should, sh you should save your fragments for this one. When below 30% health, heal back 51% of, of max health over 6 seconds. Cleanse all the buffs every 3 seconds while this healing is active. That means we are going to have hazards that gave the buffs like special ability disabled, like power drain or dot damage or I don't know. 
Uh, but the fact is, it is maximum three times per battle. This assures that your damage dealer is not going to die that easily. Replaces your rush attack with a teleporting strike that places you in front of the opponent, dealing 200% of your rush attack damage. This is great. This is for a damage dealer. I am liking this because you get 200% more damage on your uh, rush attacks and pair that with 32,000 attack and 100k health on your damage dealer. You are going to be an absolute powerhouse and at below 30% health you basically heal yourself. So you are going to be an undying monster with this artifact. You have damage for days, you have healing for days and you have health for days. So. Just imagine, let's say Justice League Superman with 32,000 attack with 100k health and pair that with his base health 30,000 or whatever and he has max defense because of, um, of his passive that gives the Justice League teammates defense and he's a Justice League teammate uh, and with 200% rush attack. He's going to be a absolute powerhouse he's going to have all the stats maxed out if you want to throw out of window so out of the window some damage some attack stat for resistance you are going to have a combo builder a tank a damage dealer all in one character just because of this artifact so i would say for everyone save for the father box um I would say just wait if you are an advanced player and see if you can actually defeat Darkseid uh, without um, having you to drop gems on the new artifact chest. Because this way you are going to get the Father Box for free, which is the best artifact. And then you can later buy the artifact uh, chest just to upgrade the Father Box, but you already got the best uh, artifact for free. So yeah, the new artifacts are exciting, most of them are very controversial, the um, things that they suggest, uh, we don't know how they work for now, but we are going to know more when other guys, um, they are going to face harder, so I don't know, maybe it's going to be great, maybe it's not going to be that great, we are going to see that, uh, I would say it's very exciting man. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about the new artifacts and what is your favorite. Take care guys, peace.